Hello, welcome back to Democracy Free. Now I have um I've looked ahead a little bit and the outcome is good for the most part, other than well, I was just playing around and my income dropped about I don't know, hundred billion less than my expenditures because I was just uh trying out a few few taxes, not taxes, a few of these different uh, policy ideas and I got a number of achievements for just messing around and I, I kinda wish I was recording that I believe uh, Crime Free Utopia is a new achievement that was pretty funny to get and then my one state party one party state, sorry uh, congratulations you have all but vanished the thought of any other political parties from the minds of your electorate reducing other par politicians to mere has-beens yeah that, that was pretty funny my next election the the other party got six percent of the vote and I got most of it obviously so that was, that was pretty cool uh, is this one new? The medical... No. The poverty? No, I think that one's an old one. You certainly have the stamina for politics. No, that's not a new one. Darwin. Darwin Legacy. That was pretty funny. So yeah, it wiped out religion from the UK. So yeah, I got some new achievements. And I would really like to have unlocked them while recording, but I was just messing around and was trying some different policies. So let's have a bash and see what we want to do. Technology grant. No, what one was it? It was um, that. This was good. This was good because it improved production and the GDP and lowered unemployment oh yeah and it re lo lowered religious membership I understand what that means now I didn't until recently oh and it helps capitalists good right let's see where's religion uh, religion so religion there we go so right now 12% of the country is religious however because of um, Let's see, where's the rocket one? That one there. That's a negative for religious membership. That means that because of this policy, because of this thing that I've put forward, religious membership will drop down, which is good. No, no, I mean, it's good in the sense that religious religious people don't like me, so it makes sense that lowering the number of people in that party, in that group, that fits into that group, means that less people dislike me because these people are moving into other groups. The unfortunate thing is that they're moving into the Patriots and the Patriots like me only slightly more than the religious people. So, let's see, they there's 12% of those as well. But they, they take note of the religious people. So, like I said, there's 12%. I'll, I'll remember that and I'll check it after this turn. Let's see, watch small business grant, that's a good one. That puts up the GDP as well. Just max that I think. Self employed goes way up. Socialism goes down. Right, let's go with that. Oh yeah, oh no, that's pop daddy. So I saw that bar and thought, oh god, we're near the end of the term, aren't I? Have to be, have to be careful. But no, the term bar is at the top, so I'm halfway. Plenty of time to to turn it around if it starts, if my popularity starts going negative. Let's go forward. Up. It may not be anything to do with your policies or your personal conduct. But the actions of your staff are going. But the actions of your staff are going to reflect on you. Yeah, that's worded fine. I just sometimes I'll read something and I'll have to read it twice just to just to say to my brain, yes, 
Yes, yeah, timeless. That is worded properly. Anyway, uh, one of your junior member ministers has been found to have an improper relationship with his secretary. Our more conservative citizens are bound to disapprove, and this could make for a noticeable drop in our popularity. You dick. So everyone likes that 10%, well not 10%, um, point ten, one, point one percent less. I think it is a percentage. Yes, it is, isn't it? Anyway, that's budget surplus of 12 billion. Religion, you're in the middle of. Conservative opposition. Okay. So yeah, religious, religious. See? Now it's down to 11%. So every turn, the number of religious people is, is going to drop. And there's a number of things I could probably do to slower that. Slower that. Slower that? Is that? To lower that number that's going away. Or there's a number of things I could do to speed it up. I'm sure. Let's see. Oh, state, no. Where's schools? Schools? Private schools. State schools. There we go. No. I thought because I'm not teaching religion, you know, I'm not teaching creatism in schools, if I put up the school numbers, then that would increase the number of people that aren't religious. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying to say that religious people don't go to school, or anything even close to that. I was just merely saying that because of the, uh, because of this, which does lower religious membership. I was thinking that the connection would be that if I push the education in schools, because this isn't going to be part of it there would be like more in-depth in um, the evolution side of it you know that the, there would be more put into you know, there'd be more money put into that into the sciences and stuff and that would in turn have a impact on the religious numbers so I, I wasn't saying that religious people <laughs> that religious people don't go to, to state schools no not even slightly saying that. Right. So, 37 political capital. My foot is hopefully not in my mouth anymore. And we can move forward. and see. Fuel, efficient standards. People like eye tests. Wait, how much money am I in surplus? Surplus of 12 billion. Hmm can actually probably pass I should really do child provisions but given state subsidies for child care we can ensure more parents return to the workplace after having children and therefore benefit the economy although this can be expensive and also a distortion of the market it's popular with parents. Yeah let's go with that Cabs list goes down, yeah, of course it does. Twelve billion. Productive productivity goes up, that's the main thing there. This is two ten bill. Ten. Ten, come on, ten, straight on the dot, ten. No, it's not ten. That's higher than ten. Come on. Come on, so close. Damn it. So anyway. No, I guess not. Oh well, let's just go to the closest we can do that. I guess that's not a huge deal. So parents like it, capitalists do not. Anything else I can do now? 
Oh wait, there's still... Did I put forth the actually good tax? I didn't. How much do wealthy people like me? Yeah, let's just drop that. Drop that in there. We'll just do it. Four bill. And let's move forward. Oh, yes. I was hoping this would show up again. This came up when I wasn't recording. Ban fox hunting. After years of debate, a law is now before Parliament concerning the banning of fox hunting. Opponents of hu hunting claim that the sport is cruel, but those defending it claim that it, it is a traditional rural pastime and attempts to ban it are based on the class divide. Ban fox hunting. Nobody disputes that the fox population needs to be controlled, but chasing them with hounds and whipping them to pieces cannot be the most humane way to do this. This is an outdated and barbaric sport that cannot be tolerated by a civilized society. <laughs> Ban it now. Yeah. Right, let's do read this one. Approximately 7,000 people in rural communities are directly employed in hunting and the knock-on effect on jobs will be far greater. The fox population will need to be controlled and as for animal cruelty, this is a bigger problem for factory farming than for hunting. This is not more, this is nothing, sorry, this is nothing more than class warfare and an attack on rural communities. <sighs> I, I, I'm glad that this is actually something that has been really banned. This is banned within the UK. And but hunting foxes, okay, you, you can... There are reasons to control the numbers of foxes. As, as, this here, as this says here, where is it? But chasing them with hounds and ripping them to pieces cannot be the most humane way to do this. That, and it's not a freaking sport. It, it, so I am dead set, totally 100% sure of banning fox hunting. That is just, it, it, I, I could go on and on. It's just like, yep, ban it. Goodbye foxes, fo goodbye fox hunting. Because, no, I, I do not at all, even closely, even closely wish to have fox hunting. So, 90% of the people like me. I know, that was kind of a, a jump. You know, it's like, ban fox hunting, yes! So, 90% people like me. So, <sighs> Just... Fox hunting, just totally not for that at all. Not for that at all. And also, something that hopefully will show up again is an appeal to unban whaling. I didn't properly read that when it did come up, but I immediately just said no, I'm not unbanning whaling. So we'll we'll see if that comes up again, or if I get assassinated. If I get assassinated before then. So, I'm doing fairly well right now, if we can sum it up before I shut this video off. Budget is uh, 24 billion every turn. Uh, as I said before, 90% of the estimated... I don't know. Your government is popular amongst the electoral... I still can't pronounce that properly, I should ask someone. Electoral rate. Electoral rate? doesn't sound like... Is that right? El electro rate. Anyway. And we estimate a poll rating of 90%. Ah, uh, the other party membership is still larger. They've been larger than me for ages. 
I wonder. If, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I wonder how just how much how how much that impacts what I want to do. I mean, you'd think it would impact me pretty extremely, but I guess not. My party is smaller than theirs. Hmm. Our intelligence service reports serves. Wait, reports. <coughs> Sorry, my thoughts not doing so great again. I'll read this again. Our intelligence service report serious concerns about the actions of extremist religious groups who go by the name Crusader Crusaders of the Lord. There is a moderate threat of violent attacks from this group in the near future. Hmm. Cabinet report the, the loyalty of your ministers can be can best be described as fanatical. Their effect effectiveness is generally considered to be fair. So yeah, loyalty not super loyal, super loyal, pretty loyal, pretty loyal, super loyal, super loyal. So I got three people that really like me and conservatives and self-employed guy doesn't trade unionists and farmers oh my voice is is a uh, <coughs> sorry I'm gonna end this I guess and go get a drink I'm just gonna look at a few more things but I can do that later hmm surplus of 24 we already know that So, hee <laughs> hee, this is great. GDP has gone way up. I keep going to stop, and then I stop stopping. So, I still need to save on this the this one the un uncompetitive economy. E the motor there don't like me. They really don't like the tow votes. Right, that's 17 minutes on my clock. It's actually um, 17 and a half minutes on the clock. And I'm going to keep rambling on. I'm actually going to stop recording, even though I've only done one video so far today. really like this game, I just want to keep playing it. But I also want to not play it and pick up the DLC at some point. You know, just have the whole, the whole game. And play it all at once with everything. Right, finally, I'm going to stop, so goodbye.